Welcome to the Western Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. A few housekeeping notes before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash WACAC. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, Central Washington University. Awesome, thank you. Oh, sorry. I know we just practiced this, but there we go. Can you, what can you all see? Is it a blue screen or my slideshow? Yep, we see the slideshow. Okay, you just perfect. need to hit the present mode. Perfect, yeah, awesome. Go. Thank you so much. All these fun technical <laughs> things we got to figure out. Um, well, hi everyone. My name is Dee Dior and I'm a senior admissions counselor with Central Washington University. Hope you get to learn a little bit more about our school and how we could be a good fit for you. Uh, so to start off, where is Central Washington University located? Uh, so we're pretty much right in the heart of Washington, hence our name. Um, just to give you a frame of reference for those of you who haven't been to Washington before, uh, we're about an hour and a half east of Seattle and about four hours north of Portland, Oregon. So I know a lot of students like to come to Central because of our location and our proximity to the mountains. If you're someone who likes to spend a lot of time outdoors, you like to go hiking or backpacking or kayaking, we could definitely be a great spot for you. I know that sometimes people think of Washington as being a little bit um, overcast and gray skies, but um, since we're located on the east side of the Cascade Mountain Range, we get about 300 days of sunshine. So if you're still looking to stay somewhere where it's warm and you see the sun a lot, um, but maybe looking to explore just a different region of the country, we could be um, a great fit for you. And we're located in Ellensburg, Washington, um, which is a really cute college town. Um, it's not too big. Um, there's a lot of great coffee shops, places to eat, um, cute local museums, and just fun events that happen throughout the year. Uh, so if you're looking to, you know, spend a lot of time outside and exploring, or you just kind of want to um, want to nestle up in like a coffee shop and um, explore the downtown area of Ellensburg, um, we have all of that for you. Central is also located right in downtown Ellensburg as well. So it's super walkable. There's a great bus system in the area. So you don't have to have a car. Um, to, if you don't have a car, don't wanna drive around, it's really easy to get around by foot or by our free public transit. Moving right along, um, so we're considered a, a medium-sized institution, so we serve about 12,000 students. So usually during your first year, you are going to have some of those larger lectures, but ultimately your classes are going to be on the small side. You can see that our average class size is about 25. So that means you're really going to have the ability to connect with your faculty, connect with your peers in your classes, um, and get to um, you know expand your friend group and find your community while you're at Central. We offer over 135 majors and programs program. So lots of different things for you to pick and choose from. Um, you can see in the top corner, there are some of our more unique majors, um, which include aviation management. We have a great pilot program. So if you're looking to become a pilot, we can get you all certified. Um, that also is the same with our paramedicine program. So it's for students who want to become EMTs. We can get you certified, trained up, so you can go right into that position once you finish at um, Central. We also offer a great construction management program where we have almost 100% job placement in that program. Program, um, sports management and apparel, textiles, and merchandising. So those are just highlighting some of our more unique majors that we offer. Some of our, more, uh, our top majors that students come to us for are business. We have an internationally uh, recognized business program, which includes business and leadership, business and management, um, human resources, um, public relations. So lots of great things to study there. And education. So if you're thinking about becoming a teacher or an educator, we actually started off as a teaching college. So we have a ton of uh, teaching programs including um, elementary education, secondary education, early childhood education, and then multiple specializations within that um, as well. Um, music is also really strong. We have one of the largest or most uh, robust music programs in the Pacific Northwest. And so if you're looking for music composition, music performance, we have those for you. And then our sciences include some of those hard sciences. So like your chemistry, your biology, your geology, where you're doing a lot of that, um, that field work and analyzing data 
data in lab spaces. And then that also includes some of our um, engineering technology. So we have industrial, mechanical, and electronic engineering technology at Central. Obviously, that's highlighting just a couple um, different offerings, but you can see, again, our 135 majors, lots for you to choose from. Regardless of what you end up choosing, you're going to get some of that hands-on experience and real-life experience before graduating. So the application process. So for those of you who are um, rising seniors or seniors currently, you can see that um, we have an online application. So you just have to fill out that first year application. Um, we also have, would like you to submit a $60 application fee. Um, there are ways for you to get that fee waived. So feel free to talk to myself or your high school counselor. Um, we also want your high school transcripts. And um, it's optional um, moving forward for this year and beyond um, for the SAT or ACT test score. So if you have it, that's great. We will gladly um, accept it and include it in your application. However, it's not required in order for us to consider your application. Um, if you have below a 3.0 GPA, then we might ask you to write a personal statement, which is a really great spot for you to put your own voice into the application, talk to us a little bit more about yourself, your career goals, what you're looking to study, and maybe things that we're not seeing on your transcript. Um, our priority deadline is March 1st for current seniors, um, and then it'll be March 1st, 2022 um, for our juniors out there. Um, if our students out there have a 3.0 or higher GPA and you have um, all of your high school classes met, so that's your English and your math, your language, we can guarantee you admission, which is pretty exciting. Uh, paying for college. So um, Central is a WUI school. So you can see right there that um, we can save you about $10,000 on tuition every year. Um, it's guaranteed if you apply by March 1st and um, commit to us by June 1st. It's open to any major and there is no separate application. We are Division II University, and so if you're looking to um, be an a student athlete, you can see some of our different athletics that we offer there. Um, clubs and organizations, we have over 100. Um, some are more academic based, some are more um, fun, like our rodeo club and our marching band. So lots of ways, again, for you to find um, friends and find your community at Central. Um, online experiences, you can see you have a ton of different ways to connect with myself or another admissions counselor or just to get to know our school. Um, feel free to take a photo of this slide, which has my contact information on it. I'd be more than happy to help you out um, with any questions you have about Central. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Eastern Washington University. Cool, thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Kareem and I am the advisor at Eastern Washington University. Um, just wanted to welcome everybody. It's been a minute for me, so uh, bear with me as I share my screen. Did y'all see that? All right, cool. Um, wait. All right, cool. Could y'all see that though? Yep. Yes. All right. Cool. So uh, yeah, here we are, Eastern Washington University. Uh, we're famous, as you can see, for our um, red football field and. Um, we're located in Cheney, Washington. We're a mid-sized university with uh, around 12,000 students. Uh, we have awesome academics and we really like to, you know, give students that hands-on experience while they're at Eastern Washington. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna be going through our lookbook here and uh, talking a little more about some of the facts and figures. So many of our students uh, graduate and get jobs related to their major. Uh, many of our students also receive some type of financial aid. And uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of our students also um, graduate with some type of professional experience. Uh, we really uh, like to encourage students to you know, get into those types of internships, do some research and things like that with their faculty members. Here's a cute little... Uh, a uh, photo of our robot from our robotics program. So at Eastern, uh, we have the lowest tuition in state uh, for Washington Publix. Um, and the bottom photo right there, you could see 
uh, one of our students working in our robotics lab. So like I said, getting uh, some hands-on experience. And then on the right side, uh, that is students at the uh, Turnbull Wildlife Refuge um, doing some uh, hands-on research uh, out there collecting water samples. And uh, that's pretty close to campus. It's one of my favorite areas to um, go around when, when I'm in Cheney and uh, just kind of nice to take a walk out there and get some of that fresh air. And as I mentioned, uh, Eastern Washington, we have the uh, lowest tuition in state. We are a WUI school. Um, you could uh, go onto our scholarship calculator to figure out you know, what types of uh, awards you're going to be getting. So at Eastern Washington University, uh, we have um, a really awesome uh, music program. Uh, if you're somebody who wants to get into music, uh, but not necessarily major in it, you could participate in any one of our uh, ensembles, uh, whether that's string um, and uh, any of the uh, other types of uh, ensembles that we have. So our top five majors at Eastern are business, biology, computer science, psychology, and engineering. Um, both of our engineering, as far as um, the uh, electrical and mechanical engineering are ABET accredited. Um, those are really great programs for uh, students uh, to get into again. Um, and uh, really, again, also, yeah, just kind of getting at that uh, hands-on experience. But uh, yeah, some other majors that we have include education. We have more than 60 areas of study. So um, these are just some of our uh, popular ones that students really um, like. So at Eastern, we're a division one athletic school. So uh, some really popular things like um, football really add to the vibrance of like campus life. Uh, the football games are super high energy. Um, it's really fun. A lot of students and a lot of uh, the community really kind of gathers around these types of events on campus. Uh, if you do get a chance, um, you know, when campus opens back up, we'd love to see you at our games. Uh, we'd love to just even see you on campus taking a tour of it and um, really getting to see, you know, uh, how, how, how life is like at Eastern. So we have more than 150 uh, student clubs and organizations, lots of sports uh, that include intramurals um, for you to participate in. If you don't wanna participate like in um, you know, a, a division one athletics, there's just more fun ways for you to connect with some of your peers and some of your, and meet new friends. Uh, I really enjoy playing um, indoor soccer and uh, basketball and things like that and flag football when, um, when I was, uh, um, in intramurals. So uh, yeah, those are some really fun things for me. I really enjoy, um, not that I'm really that athletic or anything, but I really do enjoy kind of the uh, parts of campus, um, like the uh, athletic center. Uh, we have an ice rink on campus, a rock climbing wall. Those are just fun areas that I like to hang out at when I'm on campus. So at Eastern, uh, we wanna make sure everybody feels included. So we have diversity and inclusion programs, a multicultural center. Uh, those are great places for students to kind of get together, gather and um, create community around identity. Uh, we also uh, have um, you know, a lot of safety uh, on campus and um, yeah, campus generally is just a really safe place to be. And like I said, there's more than 12,000 students. Um, we have uh, seven different residential halls. Everything is pretty centrally located on campus. So you could get to your uh, classes um, if you live in the residential halls. If you, you know, you can get to your classes in five to 10 minutes easy. Uh, it's a great way to also, you know, work um, on campus and then also, you know, find places to, to eat with uh, one of our many locations on campus. Cool. So yeah, like I said, we're about 20 minutes away from uh, Spokane, Washington, which is um, like uh, the second largest city in the state. Uh, and then yeah, 
when you're ready to apply, just uh, go ahead and click, click on that apply button. Our priority deadline was uh, March 1st, but uh, we're still accepting applications. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Washington State University. All right, great. Um, my name is Ivy Donaldson, and I am the admission counselor for Washington State University. I'm based in San Diego, and I work with students specifically in Southern California and the state of Arizona. WSU is a public land-grant university. We are tier one for research, and our main campus is located over in Pullman. So we do have campuses all over the state, but our flagship, our residential campus, and our campus with almost all of our 200 programs is in Pullman. So Pullman is about five to six hours from Seattle, and we're about an hour and a half away from Spokane. Spokane is where our medical school is located, our pharmacy school, and a few of our other health sciences programs. So we are right on the border of Eastern Washington. We're just about 10 minutes away from the University of Idaho. It's actually a bike trail that connects our campuses together. So very, very Eastern. Um, and with that comes Eastern Washington weather. We do get a little bit more snow on that side of the state than the Seattle area, but a few more days of sunshine over there. So Pullman is a classic college town type of environment. About two thirds of the town of Pullman are students and the average age of somebody in Pullman is about 22 years old. So this is a very undergraduate campus, um, very safe, very walkable. I'm um, you're definitely gonna see that Coog logo all over town um, and definitely see a lot of students wherever you go. Student life is kind of the hallmark of WSU. You'll see a lot of alumni pouring back into town on game days, a lot of people shouting go Cougs, a lot of people wearing crimson and gray all over campus. So it's a very fun thing to be a part of. There's 15 um, college level athletic teams, part of the D1. We also have a wide range of intramurals and club sports you can get involved in. Our Greek system's pretty big at WSU. About a fourth of our students are part of the Greek system. And then we have a wide range of student clubs you can get involved in. So these are clubs related to your specific program. Uh, for example, there's about 30 clubs just in the College of Engineering alone. Um, and then those are clubs related to different parts of students' identities, cultures, backgrounds, religions, et cetera. And then we also bring in a lot of fun student entertainment in um, different points of the year. There's always something going on on campus. We're definitely not a commuter school. Our students live, work, play, study in Pullman. Um, as you can see from some pictures in a bit, we are in a very rural area. So. Definitely a lot of student engagement, a lot of uh, student identity. Academics. So we have over 200 fields of study. Um, and something I love to point out for WSU is that we're not impacted for majors. So if there's a specific area that you're really interested in, we'll get you started on, in on that path right away. Um, we have specific advisors that will work with you starting freshman year, mandatory advising. Um, and we also have specific advisors that can be an additional assistance for you in the health sciences. So if you're interested in going on to med school, pharmacy school, nursing, etc. So we are a land grant institute, which just means that we have a specific mission to serve the specific needs of Washington State. So you'll see a lot of engineering majors at WSU. We have pretty much every engineering program except for aerospace engineering, a lot of computer science, software engineering, mechanical and electrical engineering. You'll see a lot of health sciences at WSU. Um, I mentioned our med school up in Spokane, which is pretty recent, uh, recently opened just a couple years ago. We graduate a lot of the state's nurses. We also have programs in speech therapy, nutrition and exercise science, and a wide range of the sciences. We also have big programs in agri agriculture at WSU. Uh, one of my favorite programs is our viticulture and enology program, which is wine and fermentation sciences. Students actually get to intern in a vineyard and work in a winery for that program. And then we have a vet school at WSU. So a lot of great other programs that can lead into our vet school or other vet schools across the country like animal science. Um, we have wildlife ecology and conservation, zoology. And one of the most unique things at WSU is our bear center. We have six grizzly bears that live at WSU um, and different fields of research that we do with the bears. We also have a college of business and a college of communications and so many other majors that I don't have time to get into. Um, but we are a tier one research institute and a benefit of WSU is that we're very undergrad focused. So you could get research experience as early as your freshman or sophomore year. Those experiences aren't just gonna go to that student with a 4.0 or the student in that master's program. 
And then we have a wide range of study abroad programs. Well, that feels a little out of reach right now with COVID, but we've had a student recently that studied abroad in all seven continents during his time at WSU, so pretty cool. And then our student to faculty ratio is 16 to one, um, and our average class size is about 30. If you're an honors student, your average class size could be 15 to 25 students. It's pretty simple to apply to WSU. We have our own application. We're not part of the coalition or the common app. There's an application fee um, and there's fee waivers available for students with financial need. And then we're just gonna be looking at your transcripts, um, your grade trends, uh, the types of classes you're gonna be taking. We've removed the test score requirement for fall 2021 and fall 2022. So we'll be test blind going forward for there. Um, we're not sure for fall 2023 yet. And then the Honors College has a separate application with two essays as part of it. Um, it's free to apply to the Honors College. We are part of the WUI program. So if you have a 3.6 or higher, you'll qualify for the WUI program, um, which is $11,000 per year for four years goes with any of our majors at WSU. And then our other big out-of-state scholarship is the Cougar Award, 7,000 per year. So thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions and go Cougs. Thank you. Our next presenter is Western Washington University. All right, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Jay. Holton. I'm an admissions counselor with Western Washington University. Um, yeah, a little bit about our university. We are located up in Bellingham, Washington, so at the northern end of Washington State. Um, yeah, it is a gorgeous community. We are really close to Canada, so in non-COVID times, it's very easy to go up to Vancouver and go you know, see the sites, go explore a different country. Um, we're an hour and a half north from Seattle as well. So if you want those big city experiences, you can certainly have those. Uh, we're also right next to the North Cascades mountain range. So if you wanna go skiing or snowboarding, very easy to do that as well. And we are right on the water, right on the Puget Sound with our Bellingham Bay right there. So if you like water sports or just going out kayaking or walking along a beach, very easy to do that as well. We are a medium sized, uh, public university with about 16,000 students in a city of about 83,000 people. Um, very walkable community, lots of nature, lots of trees and great hiking trails, uh, pretty small class sizes, really an emphasis on teaching undergraduates. So we have plenty of research opportunities, um, but the teachers are really there to be excellent teachers first and researchers second. So um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about um, about the academics, about what majors we offer. So we have over 175 majors at Western. So some of the most popular ones are uh, marine biology. We have a great research center for marine sciences. Environmental science is huge. Uh, one of the fun facts we like to mention is that uh, one of the first environmental colleges in the United States, the Huxley College of the Environment, was established at Western back, uh, back in the late 60s. So um, we've been doing that a long time. Uh, but there's also lots of other great programs as well, computer science, engineering, uh, pre-health um, pre uh, pathways, human services, psychology. Uh, you can really find pretty much everything at Western. Um, and in addition to that, we have just a lot of ways that our students are getting out there and getting involved in our community outside of the classroom. So while our classroom experiences are very uh, focused on making the world a better place, our clubs are doing that uh, just as much as well, I would say. So whether you wanna be um, you know, joining a, uh, a community service club or you're interested in playing humans versus zombies or, or doing something else, there's lots of ways to find your people on our campus. Um, a couple of things I think make our campus particularly unique though. Uh, one is our outdoor center where you can rest with backpacks, all the camping gear you would ever need, uh, as well as our Lakewood Boathouse where you can rent kayaks, sailboats, and other uh, watercraft for very affordable prices, like $10 a day. So super cool. Uh, our application is pretty, pretty straightforward, very similar to other universities. Um, the main thing that I want to emphasize with it is that we really do pay attention to the essays. Uh, this is a place for you to express yourself, um, and you are always welcome to reach out to us admissions counselors and let us know um, you know, if you need a little bit of help with your essay, see if you're on the right track. So yeah, don't be shy about uh, connecting with us. Uh, our deadline for applications is January 31st, although we are a rolling 
uh, a role at admissions university. So we're accepting applications throughout the year. Uh, in terms of our scholarships for our out-of-state students, we have some of those listed on the left there. So we are a WUI school. That is our most competitive scholarship we offer. On the right-hand side, you can see what some of our tuition rates look like. Um, for Washington students, it's in the middle there. For our out-of-state students, it's the column on the right. So um, great idea to take a look at those numbers. Uh, we are the second most affordable university in the state of Washington. Uh, so right there after Eastern. Um, but yeah, great value for your education, great environment to be learning. Um, so yeah, with that, this is our contact information. Feel free to send us any and all questions you might have, whether it's about a specific major, about our application, or you're just trying to figure out where the best pizza in Bellingham is. Uh, we, are, we are there for you and very happy to connect with you in the future. So again, my name is Jacob Jones Fulton, and I'm happy to answer your questions in the future. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Woodbury University. Hi, everyone. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, excellent. Uh, so uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, my name is Omar Sanchez and I'm the campus recruiter for Woodbury University. And uh, we are located in Burbank, California. Uh, we are about 20 minutes north of downtown LA. Uh, it's a great location for all kinds of businesses, uh, all different enterprises for the movie industry, for entertainment industry. So if you are interested in coming to LA and, and trying to uh, to get into any of those enterprises that are based in Southern California, Woodbury is a great um, school to get your career started. Uh, we're a pretty small school. We only have about 1,200 students. Uh, and, but that, with, with that size of a campus, you also get a lot of opportunities. Our classroom size um, on average is about 15 students. Very rarely it's gonna be more than that. Um, and it, there, our faculty, uh, student to faculty radio, ratio is nine to one. Um, so again, you know, a lot of opportunities to get to know your teachers, to get your questions answered, to seek mentorship opportunities with them. Um, so again, you know, being in a small campus, that's, that provides for a better learning environment. Um, we are a very diverse campus. We take uh, about 15% of our students that are international. We also have a lot of students who are from out of state, about 10% of our students are from out of state. And then we are designated a Hispanic serving institution about 35% of our students are of Hispanic descent. Um, so the campus is truly diverse. I like to say that it really looks like LA as being one of the most diverse cities in the world. Um, you know, the campus also looks like that. It looks very diverse. Um, and that one thing that makes us unique compared to other universities is that we are, um, we like to say that we're practice-based learning and we require an internship uh, for graduation. Uh, and we will help you find those internship opportunities. So um, the students must take an internship before prior to graduating, and that will give you some extra experience um, in the industry that you wanna go into. And again, for some of our majors like filmmaking, uh, fashion design, architecture, and so on, uh, a lot of those are very um, based on the movie industry. And uh, we can help you find internships in great companies like Disney, Warner Brothers, Paramount, uh, Universal, all of those studios are just down the street from us, actually. And again, you know, it goes back to Woodbury being a great location for uh, some of those um, enterprises. Uh, some of our unique majors, um, animation, it's top rank in the nation. Architecture, that's the one uh, major that we're really known for. We offer a bachelor's of architecture that, and we're one of six schools in all of California that offers that. Uh, most schools offer a bachelor's of arts in architecture, that's different. Um, with, if you obtain a BA in architecture, you need to go to grad school before you're eligible to become a licensed architect with us because we offer a bachelor's of architecture. You do not need to go to grad school. You can get your licensure right after that. And we also offer an IFAL program where uh, if you're interested in becoming a licensed architect, you can do it within our program and we will help you with the internship, which is, I think it's a 3000 hour internship um, on their licensed architect. We will help you find that and we will help you with the testing and stuff. So you will graduate with the degree and the licensure. 
Um, so that we're the only school in California that offers that. Um, so again, you know, it's a great opportunity for those who are interested in becoming licensed architects. Fashion design, also a great program. Uh, we have um, a collection of garments that is valued at $2 million and students have access to it. And part of that is because one of our alumni was the uh, designer for Marilyn Monroe's outfits. Um, so we have a great connection to the industry and we have um, a great um, network of alumni that work in the fashion industry. We also offer fashion marketing under the School of Business. We offer filmmaking, also a great major. Um, and because we're so close to the studios, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the students um, go and work for this, uh, for the movie industry. And that's really cool. And also something that it's um, very um, interesting is that because we're so close to the studios, whenever a movie set or a TV show needs uh, like a backdrop of a scout, uh, school, they will come to Woodbury and film in campus. So it's very common to see film crews in our school and students get first hand access to that. And they often participate and they do their uh, learn practice-based learning uh, that way. Game art and design uh, for those students who are interested in going into the video game industry, that program just got ranked 11 in the nation. So we're really excited about that. Interdisciplinary studies, interior design, also really popular major professional writing. Public safety administration is what we call um, criminology program. So if you're interested in working uh, in law enforcement and FBI, or uh, if you want to practice criminal law, um, and so you will get this degree and then go into a law school. Um, and so this will be, again, a great option for you. And then sustainable practices, that's a new degree that we're going to start offering. It's going to be very uh, like, um, like an environmental science degree, but it's going to be under the School of Architecture. And that's because we went trying to train people um, to take on the challenge that California has imposed of, of, of that it's this new regulation that uh, all buildings need to be carbon emission free by 2050. So we're training uh, students uh, and professionals to go in and to, and to take into this challenge. Um, so about 85% of us students receive financial aid in our school. Uh, our tuition for the next academic year is set at just under $42,000. It's $41,924 exactly. Uh, but uh, we also offer great scholarship packages. So you can get up to $18,000 every year to attend Woodbury uh, based on, on, on GPA. Um, so um, I, we always encourage students to make sure that you get as high grades as possible because then that's gonna open doors for you at any university, but particularly for us, it means more money. And if you're um, obtaining one of these scholarships that um, it, you, it's renewable every year and we only look at your GPA. Um, so we don't care about your family income uh, from, uh, or uh, even for students who are undocumented. Uh, that's something that I, I'm really excited to share with you all that our scholarship um, students who are undocumented or they have DACA or otherwise um, don't have citizenship or uh, residency status. If they are a domestic student, meaning that they graduate from a high school in the US, they are still eligible for this scholarship. And um, you know, that's our way to show that we support all students. Um, the average financial aid package to a school is about $21,000. Um, so it, you know, Woodbury is a great option for uh, students. You know, we're a private school, but we also offer a, a great uh, um, funding for students that want to attend uh, Woodbury. Uh, our application uh, for the fall semester it, the deadline was March 1st, but we have on rolling application. So meaning that you can apply all the way through August. Um, that doesn't mean that you will get a spot, uh, particularly for architecture. That's our most competitive major. Um, you want to apply as soon as possible if you miss the deadline. Uh, but yes, we have rolling application. application. Um, so make sure you turn in those applications as soon as possible. If you scan the QR code that I have on the slide, you will get a fee waiver. So make sure that you scan that um, and fill out a quick form. It takes you a minute and then you save yourself $85. You can apply using our website, woodbury.edu, or you can go to the Common App. And then also um, test uh, is, scores are optional. Uh, so we're not gonna look at SAT scores, personal statements or anything like that. Um, it's just a pretty straightforward application. Uh, so if you have any more questions, um, uh, please reach out. Again, if you scan that QR code, I will give you an inquiry form and you can reach out to us that way. And I will also type in my email on the chat box so you can shoot me an email if you have any more questions. Thank you so much. Our final presenter is University of Washington, Seattle. Hi, everyone.
everyone. Uh, my name is Kelsey Mark and I serve as the Senior Admissions Counselor at the University of Washington. Thank you for your patience um, this evening. I know you've had quite a bit of information, but I am the last school to go. Um, so hopefully you'll learn a lot about the UW as well as all of our fellow institutions here today. Some quick facts for you here about the University of Washington. We are located in Seattle. Um, we're about 10 to 15 minutes north of that downtown area. Um, so we have a really urban campus, access to all the great city happenings, um, and a great location if you're looking to be more in an urban environment. As a large public institution, we do offer over 180 different majors. Um, so a lot of academic interests for you to explore and take classes in and ultimately find a, a major that's gonna be a good fit for you. Um, as a tier one research institution, we do get also get quite a bit in terms of federal funding. So allowing students to really dive a little bit deeper into their areas of interest and to have these experiential learning opportunities. As a large school, um, we do have quite a few number of clubs and student organizations. So we do have over 900 um, registered student organizations, which is just our fancy word for clubs, um, but a great way to really connect with other individuals and find your community on campus. Um, a couple of the things I just want to point out here really quickly, about 70% of our freshmen do live on campus, um, and our retention rate is about 94%. So of freshmen who start at the UW for their first year, 94% of them will come back and continue their education for their sophomore year. Um, and then that last number there is our average graduation time, which is four years. And speaking about graduation, where are our students ending up? Um, this is a, an visual of where many of our students are finding jobs and careers at once they graduate and leave our campus. Um, being in Seattle, you have a lot of really great access to networking opportunities, um, career and internship opportunities as well. So our Career and Internship Center really want to help students connect with these companies and help them find jobs and careers that they're interested in. We really want to make sure that while our students are on our campus for their undergrad experience, that they're um, having experiences and developing life skills that are going to take them far beyond the classroom walls um, and really make sure that they're not only going to be hireable, but truly desirable candidates in any of those future endeavors. So now that I've talked a little bit about the UW experience and what it's like to be a Husky, um, what do you need to know in order to apply? So. The University of Washington, we are on the coalition application. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar with the coalition, it is an online application platform where students can apply to multiple schools using that one application. Um, one of the benefits of the coalition is that as a high school student, you have access to about 80% of your actual application right now. So you could go home, I guess you're already home, um, create an account um, and start working on that coalition profile piece, which again is about 80% of your actual applications to schools. The other 20% of your application will be the UW specific questions, um, and those become available starting September 1st of your senior year. So that's where we ask about your intended major, that's where our essay questions are housed, um, and then if you're interested in applying to our interdisciplinary honors program, those questions are also found in that portal. Now we do have an application fee, it is $80. However, we have application fee waivers available and those are based off of questions embedded within the application. Now, once students submit their application, what are we looking for in that, in that review process? So at the UW, we do take a holistic approach to our application review. Um, we really want to get to know who you are as an individual and outside of just those numerical factors. Um, we like to think of our holistic review in two sections, the academic preparation and performance, and also the personal achievements and characteristics. Academic preparation and performance does lead the way in the review process because we want to make sure students who are coming to the UW are going to be set up for academic success. So within the academics uh, review portion, we're looking at several different factors. We're looking at how you performed overall. Um, do note that we do look at all applications on an unweighted 4.0 scale. Um, however, we do look at the rigor of your curriculum, what types of classes you're taking. Does your school offer AP or IB classes? Can you take dual enrollment credits through a community college or a local university? Um, we also like to see, uh, positive academic grade trends. So hopefully seeing improvement 
over the course of your academics. Um, and then we do also um, take a look at your senior year schedule. Really want to see students who are taking advantage of that last year to prepare themselves academically. One thing I do want to note here is that we no longer require test scores. This was a change for our um, incoming class of 2021. Um, and so we have moved tests optional for future years. Um, on the personal side of things, we just want to get to know you. So letting us know about activities or experiences that you've had, um, telling us telling us about things that maybe we're not going to get from other aspects or other parts of your application in those essay components. Um, if you're curious about our essay um, props, you can find those on our website. We have a lot of really great information there. Um, and if you want to get started on that, you absolutely can. All right, couple key dates here for you. Um, as I mentioned before, September 1st is when the application, um, the UW specific questions will open up in the coalition application. Do keep in mind um, that the coalition profile is open year round, so you can get started on that at any time. Um, and then the really important deadline I want you all to be aware of, especially for um, you juniors, because this will really apply to you this upcoming year, uh, but November 15th is our application deadline. Uh, the University of Washington, we only have one deadline. There is no early action. There is no early decision. So if you're planning on applying to UW, which I hope you do, please make sure to get your application in by November 15th. Uh, now, I know I've covered quite a bit of information in a pretty short amount of time, um, as well as my colleagues have um, as tonight as well. Um, if you have more questions, if you want to get more information, please feel free to reach out to um, our office. All of you have an admissions counselor based on where you are attending school. So if you're curious as to who your admissions counselor is, feel free to check out that website there. Um, we know this process can be really confusing and overwhelming. So if there's anything that we can do to make this a little bit easier or answer any questions that you have, please let us know. Again, we wanna be a resource here for you. Um, thank you for listening. Um, hopefully you got some really great information about the UW as well as our fellow um, institutions here today, but I'll hand it over and um, see what's next. Thank you everyone for joining us. When we close this window, there'll be a link to a four to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate your feedback. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So please be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And then in about a week, you'll be able to find this recording as well as other sessions recordings at strivescan.com backslash W-A-C-A-C. Thank you so much and everyone have a wonderful evening.